So what were your artistic influences for this movie? I carry around a lot of uh, cinematic influences with me. I mean, the work of you know, Ridley Scott, uh, for example, definitely the Matrix films, uh, uh, the original Star Wars, James Bond movies. You, know, you find, uh, find a lot of like, different influences in the movie. Beyond that, I think you know, the, the art of uh, M.C. Escher, you know, these great representations of the Penrose Steps, things like that. Uh, there's a lot of that in here, and uh, Borges' is short fiction. Uh, there's just a lot of stuff rattling around in my brain that I've tried to synthesize into something hopefully fresh. Um, would you consider this a return to your less linear narratives like Memento? And uh, how does that affect the character's journey? Well, I think that each film I've done, the, the structure of it is based on narrative demands. Uh, and so Inception structurally has a lot of similarities with The Dark Knight, actually, particularly in the last act. Uh, in terms of parallel action and cross-cutting between parallel action. I very much enjoyed doing that in The Dark Knight, and I felt like it gave the audience a, a lot of excitement towards the end of the film, particularly as things kind of snowball out of control. Um, what I wanted to do with Inception was make that cross-cutting, make that movie grammar, if you like, part of the actual tale that you're, you're telling. And so there's a story reason for you know, all these cross-cuts and all these different worlds that the audience, uh, that the characters are caught up in. It definitely felt like a snowball effect, that's for sure. That was great. Um, there, there's a lot of action mixed in the dreamlike states, and uh, how does being able to create and shift reality affect the action scenes? The ability to, to create and, and shift the reality of the world they're in uh, affects the story in different ways uh, at different times, because the key rule of this world is, of the world of Inception, is dreams feel real while we're in them. And preserving that feeling of reality is a part of what this team of, of people on this heist, that's what they're engaged in. And for them to change it too much or sort of violate the, the idea of making it feel like the real world or allowing the subject to believe it's the real world, everything would come apart at that point. And so there's a, there's a reason that the, the surreality of the movie is restricted. There's a reason that the characters can't be just crazy sort of magicians in the world. They, they, have, to, they have to kind of adhere to a, a rule set. Mm -hmm. Uh, from what we've seen in the trailers, which, you know, it's, it's tough to kind of tell what's going on, but you can tell that this movie is not like anything that anyone has ever seen before. And so was it a, a deliberate decision to push the boundaries of the audience's expectation? I think with every film you do, um, you're trying to maximize the experience for the audience uh, in terms of showing them something perhaps they haven't seen before, making them feel that they're experiencing something in a new way. That's what you're always, as a filmmaker, you're always striving to do. Uh, because uh, as a film goer, that's what you want to see. I want to go to the movies and you know, pay my money and sit there and have the lights go down and have something come on screen that I don't feel like I've seen a thousand times before. So for me, that's, that's the ultimate goal. That's the ultimate prize. That's what you're really aiming for. You, you keep doing that. I mean, it's great. You Thank know. you. Um, what is the importance of dreams in Inception? And do you think this film is about control or letting go? I think the film is about control through letting go, in, in a sense. I think it's about uh, having to really accept certain parts of your memory or your past or your subconscious, uh, rather than putting it in a box and trying to hide it and so forth. There are all kinds of ways in which the world of dreams and in, inception becomes a, a focus uh, or a mirror for the subconscious of the characters. Uh, and the things that are kind of bubbling up from, from their subconscious, particularly Leo's character, Cobb. You know, he's, he's a, bit of an, uh, a bit of an onion. You, know, you peel away layers and you find more and more underneath there. Um, and so the experience of going deeper and deeper into this high story is really a, a process of exploring that character more and more. Uh, okay, I think I am out of time. But I just wanted to say that um, by the end of this movie, you really feel like you've solved something. Like you weren't just passively watching the movie. You know, like you really mm. feel involved, and uh, that's just a remarkable thing. And you keep doing it, well, and uh, the movie's fantastic. And thank you thank so you much for much. your time. Thank you. Thank you. Nice.